talking about today, what the Lord has to say about the book of 1 Chronicles chapter 23. Before we get started into that, we'll go ahead and get started into prayer. Come Lord Jesus, we invite you into this video today to speak through me everything you want us to know. Give us spiritual eyes to see the things you want us to see, spiritual ears to hear the words that are spoken today, the spiritual heart to be open and able to receive all that you have for us, Father. Give us wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and discernment about what we're about to read, watch, and listen to as we put on the helmet of salvation, breastplate of righteousness, belt of truth, feet of readiness, shield of faith, sword of the Spirit. If there's anyone we need to be praying for, speaking encouraging words to, and or listening to, just show us that person, Father God. We pray that you heal our bodies, minds, and spirits. Take away any and all distractions away from us so we can focus on you. We pray against any and all attacks of the enemy over this video, this channel, us, our loved ones, our leaders, others, and the world. We pray for God's blessings over this video, this channel, us, our loved ones, our leaders, others, and the world. We pray for God's favor over this video, this channel, us, our loved ones, our leaders, others, and the world. We pray that you give us, our loved ones, our leaders, others, and the world, godly and divine wisdom, knowledge, and discernment to make the right choices and decisions today, Father God, not only for the betterment of us, but others as well. And we pray that you guard and protect us and our vehicles, our loved ones and their vehicles, our leaders and their vehicles, others and their vehicles and the animals as well as we're traveling to and from different locations. Just drive for us today, Father God. Send down our guardian angels to protect us. We thank you for them. Give them and us the rest and restoration we both need to do the work you called us to do. Just work in us, for us, and through us today, Father God, and protect us from other people and other people from us. Send down the Holy Spirit to guide us into all truth today. We plead the blood of Jesus and pray Psalm 51 and 91 over us, our loved ones, our leaders, others, and the world. And we pray for the safety of our cities and the people in them. We pray that you show mercy on us and heal our land. We come to you in repentance and ask that you forgive us of each and every sin, whether it be in word, thought, and or deed that we've committed against you, others, and or ourselves. As we forgive those who sinned against us, we pray for our enemies and anyone listening today who has not yet accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior and would like to do so now. We pray John 3.16 over you. For God so loved the world that he sent his one and only begotten Son, that whosoever shall believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. So if you prayed that prayer with me today, you can know that you're going to go to heaven someday with the rest of the people that accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior. For it's not by works so that no man shall boast. And there's not enough good works that any of us can do to earn our way to heaven. It's only through that perfect sinless life that was Jesus being born, died, buried, and rising again for our sins and the sins of the world that any of us get to go to heaven. So Father God, we just thank you for this person that accepted you as their Lord and Savior today. Help them in their daily walk and relationship with you to get into prayer with you each and every day. That's just like what we're doing now, talking to you, listening for your voice, and obeying what you tell us to do. Show them gifts and talents that you've given them and how to use them for your glory to help those around them that are in need. Help them to get into your word each and every day, which is the Bible and stands for basic instructions before leaving earth so they can discern between the truth and the lies and the truth will set them free. Show them the gifts and talents that you've given them and how to use them for your glory to help those around them that are in need. It's a God divine appointment that you're here today. God brought you to this channel because he wanted you to get saved so he can have a, a relationship with you and you can spend eternity in heaven with him. And so, Father God, I thank you for this person and everyone listening today. I pray all of this in Jesus' mighty name. And all God's people said, Amen. 
All right, let's go ahead and get started into what the Lord has to say about the book of 1 Chronicles chapter 23. So if you have your Bibles and you like to follow along, go ahead and turn them to the book of 1 Chronicles chapter 23 and we'll get started. Thank you. So when David was old and full of days, he made Solomon his king over Israel. And he gathered together all the princes of Israel with the priests and the Levites. Now the Levites were numbered from the age of 30 years and upward, and their number by their poles, man by man, was 30 and 8,000, of which 20 and 4,000 were to set forward the work of the house of the Lord, and 6,000 were officers and judges. Moreover, 4,000 were porters, and 4,000 praised the Lord with the instruments which I made, said David, to praise therewith. And David divided them into courses among the sons of Levi, namely Gershon, Kohath, and Marari. Of the Gershonites were Ladan and Shimi. The sons of Ladan, the chief, was Yehiel, and Zethem, and Joel, three. The sons of Shimei, Shelomith, and Aziel, and Haran, three. These were the chief of the fathers of Ladan. And the sons of Shimei were Yahath, Zina, and Yehush, and Bariah. These four were the sons of Shimei. And Yahath was the chief, and Ziza the second. But Yehush and Bariah had not many sons. Therefore they were in one reckoning, according to their father's house. The sons of Kohath, Amron, Izar, Hebron, and Uziel, four the sons of Amron, Aaron and Moses. And Aaron was separated, that he should sanctify the most holy things, he and his sons forever, to burn incense before the Lord, to minister unto him, and to bless in his name forever. Now, concerning Moses, the man of God. His sons were named of the tribe of Levi. The sons of Moses were Gershom and Eleazar. Of the sons of Gershom, Shebuel was the chief. And the sons of Eleazar were Rehobah, the chief. And Eleazar had none other sons, but the sons of Rehobah were very many. Of the sons of Izar, Shelemeth, the chief. Of the sons of Hebron, Uriah, the first. Amariah, the second. Yehaziel, the third. And Yechamim, the fourth. Of the sons of Uziel, Mekah the first, and Yaziah the second. The sons of Marari, Mali and Mushi. The sons of Mali, Elizar and Kish. And Elizar died and had no sons but daughters. And their brethren, the sons of Kish, took them. The sons of Mushi, Mali and Adair, and Yermoth three. These were the sons of Levi, after the house of their fathers, even the chief of the fathers, as they were counted by number of names by their poles, that did the work for the service of the house of the Lord, from the age of twenty years and upward. For David said, The Lord God of Israel hath given rest unto his people, that they may dwell in Jerusalem forever, and also unto the Levites they shall no more carry the tabernacle, nor any vessels of it for the service thereof. For by the last words of David, the Levites were numbered from 20 years old and above, because their office was to wait on the sons of Aaron for the service of the house of the Lord in the courts and in the chambers and in the purifying of all holy things and the work of the service of the house of God, both for the showbread and for the fine flour of our meat offering and for the unleavened cakes and for that which is baked in the pan and for that which is fried, for all manner of measure and size, and to stand every morning to thank and praise the Lord, and likewise at even, and to offer all burnt sacrifices unto the Lord in the Sabbaths, and the new moons, and on the set feasts, by number according to the order commanded unto them, continually before the Lord, and that they should keep the charge of the tabernacle of the congregation, and the charge of the holy place, and the charge of the sons of Aaron, their brethren, in the service of the house of the Lord. 
And that was the end of what the Lord has to say about the book of First Chronicles chapter 23. And until next time, bye.